morning guys heading out for a meeting i'll quickly show you my outfit um i did the gym this morning and then i've got this meeting and i'm going to see my um counselor so let me show you wearing which is very slippery gucci loafers and socks i sort of neglected these men's gucci loafers a bit but i'm loving them with socks at the moment um ow uh weekday oh i just zoomed in my accent sorry guys weekday seattle jeans these aren't part of testing basics these are the ones i've had for ages but i'm gonna buy a new one i need to go into town tomorrow to do that um a unicorn knit uh, this is a new in piece that i didn't i think i forgot to show you i had a few things from unicorn i did a project with them a few weeks ago um and this is one of the knits it's one of their 3d knits which means it's all like one piece of fabric there's no seams um and i really like it you guys loved it on instagram as well i'll link it in the description box my arquette blazer my trusted arquette blazer just thrown on an everlane jumper over my shoulders and my dior bag and my chanel belt Pretty standard outfit for me, but yeah, um, I like it. And like I said, I'm loving these shoes with black socks. Black socks from Cos, I'm gonna link the specific ones because they're like some of the best socks I've ever had. Yeah, we've just got a meeting on Sloan Street. Is my Uber here? Is he here? He's a minute away. Just got a meeting on Sloan Street, and then this afternoon I'm gonna start seriously packing. Um, I'm, oh, I need to, so, go to the counsellor then I need to nip somewhere where I can get bubble wrap I'm not sure where that's going to be yet post office Ryman's something like that and then um come back here and get cracking um that's DHL not Uber I hear my Uber's around the corner though I'm gonna go jump in it oh guys my meeting wasn't today it's this time next week oh music just started playing a second um yeah it's next week so sorry so that is good didn't that went well literally got there and then checked the email to remind myself how many people i was asking who the booking was under um and then it was next week i was like oh good good so i um knit into cause to try to get some jeans for testing basics but they didn't have any in the Sloan Street one so I'll um, do another trip into town later this week so I'm trying to make the most of this failed outing by walking home because it's one of my favourite walks between um, Knightsbridge and Notting Hill and you, know, you go through Hyde Park which is where I'm at now and it's probably the last time I'm going to do this walk while I live here obviously I'm still allowed to come and walk around West London once I've left um, yeah I thought I would at least make the most of it and have a lovely walk especially as it's not raining and there's so much rain on the forecast at the moment so it's nice to um, be out about and enjoy walking around and stuff while it's not so miserable hello guys just walking to pick up a parcel which is the first testing basics order from Everlane I'm an idiot because I had that whole spiel with you on a vlog <clears throat> saying I'm going to order both sizes then in the end I was like no you're a waste 26 just order that and I know it's going to be too big I can just see with so much clarity um, and like a few people messaged like yeah I think Everlane jeans stretch a bit so go smaller I didn't so anyway I'm going to go pick them up now and try them on but I think I'm going to have to send them back and reorder but I did also order two jumpers from there that I've been really wanting so I'm going to show you those um, I've got a meeting at 12 then I'm meeting Linz and her mum for lunch um, in Shoreditch so I might not be able to show you till I'm back it's like 20 to 11 now so I'm not sure how much time I'm going to have um, slept really well thankfully had a massive 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 sleep um, so I feel a lot better for that I feel like I even look a lot less knackered which is good um, and yeah it's pretty cold today cold and damp and drizzly and a bit gross but uh, like I said I've got some knitwear waiting for me so it's not the worst thing in the world um, but yeah I'll pick this up now and then if I, when I get back in if I've got time before I got back out again I'll um, show you what I got um, back with my Everlane order and just wanted to point out there's no plastic just got this whereas the last time I ordered from them everything was single wrapped in plastic and they seem to have got rid of that, uh, rid of that now which is so good so I'm just going to show you everything really quickly these are the jeans, fingers crossed okay they're not too bad but they are a bit too big i think what i'll do is i'm going to order the size down before sending these back so that i can try them both on and maybe that would be helpful to be able to compare the two sizes if you're kind of in between sizes which i think i am at the moment um 
but everything else about them looks great. I just, I'm not going to wear them out yet. I would hope that a size down would get rid of some of the bagginess over the crotch and things. Um, but yeah, I am a slimmer than I would, a bit slimmer than I would normally be at the moment just because I've been like so stressed and everything and it always makes me lose weight. So I don't want to buy anything that fits too tight because I don't want to, I will gain weight again. Um, but I think, like I said, I'll order the other size as well and see. But they look great. This is a really bloody good start. They look so, look like a really good fit. Okay, this is one of the jumpers that I bought. I have my blue Everlane jumper, which I wear all the time. You guys will see me in it loads. And this is almost identical to that, but with a high neck. But what I liked about this neck is it's not like too, doesn't hang off you. It's really tight. Like, let me just, maybe you can, can you see there? Yeah, it sits really close to the neck. I love this. I know I wear this so, so, so much. So I'll link this as well. And then one more jumper, which I think I'm gonna wear today. So I'm going to wear this today, I've just got a t-shirt on underneath um, and then my trusty Chloe trousers, my black Chloe trousers and my Old and Gross Superga trainers. Um, I don't want to put a belt on with this, I think I just want to keep it simple like this and then I'll take um, probably my vintage Dior bag, like a black, black bag I think. or not anymore because I'm packing everything up. You watched me do some last night. Most of in here is done. Like all of the stuff's done. I need to take the telly off because like I said, I'm gonna sell that TV stand so that's going back up north. Um, but I'm gonna go shopping for testing basics. I was gonna do some stuff today, but that noise, the banging, which is momentarily stopped, will um, drive me absolutely mental. I'm really worried they can hear me and I don't want them to hear me because they're only doing their jobs. Um, but yeah, it's just, I can't, I can't stop. It's one of those noises. Um, so I was gonna talk about book, but I'm gonna talk about it later and just head out now and start shopping for testing basics. Just in cause, these are the slim ones. You know, weighs 25. They yeah. definitely fit quite big. Um, 26 was too big, but this looks pretty good. Gonna get, gonna get these ones. How much are these ones? Uh, 70 pounds, 70. Just in um, Arquette, the 
these are the regular cropped ones and they're definitely too short they do a straight leg one but only online so i'm gonna have to order that online um but yeah these would be good if you were small but not if you're tall they're ridiculously short hello guys it's a couple of days after i was last vlogging doing the testing basics shopping because life just well and truly ran away with me um, I have on the cos jeans today that you saw me buy. I think I'm going to wear each jean, peach pair of jeans. I was going to do a week, but I think that's going to be too long because it's going to take me 10 weeks to film the video. So maybe like three to five days or something. Um, so this is day two of wearing these. And it wasn't a successful shopping trip, you know. Arquette didn't, I spoke to you guys in Arquette. Weekday didn't have my size. Uniqlo didn't have my size. So I'm going to do an online order, but I'm just waiting until I've moved to do it so that I can like order it to the new address, which I know I can do now, but it just all sort of feels too overwhelming. Um, so I got these ones and the Topshop ones, and I've got the Levi ones that I already have to get me going on. And so if I'm doing it between three and five days, that is like a decent chunk of time anyway. Um... And in terms of the washers, the replies that you gave me were really mixed. Lots of people were like, oh, I'd love to see it styled differently so that you have different coloured washers. But I've, I've decided to go for the same wash in all of them, which is annoying from a selfish point of view. But quite a few people made the really valid point that the diff when it's a black wash in particular, it can really change the fit, the feel, the size and everything of the jeans. So I just don't think it's going to be similar enough. Because even I know that I've like had a pair of, like weekday is a good example, of the weekday voyage jeans in the mid wash and then I've also had them in like a light wash and they fit completely different and again they fit completely different in black. So it needs to be all one. So we could do black jeans at another day or white jeans at another day or whatever. Um, but for this one I just think it has to be all mid wash. Um, anyway, the reason life has run away with me is because I have been continuing to pack up and um, mum's coming down this lunchtime to help me which is really good and i'm kind of getting there with it like everything from in here is done like tv stands gone the drinks carts empty there's nothing on the table apart from some coasters um most of the kitchen's empty apart from last bits that i might need all the bathroom's empty apart from last bits i've just been doing the wardrobe this morning which is the most stressful bit but everything except jackets and coats are in and the removals men are going to bring wardrobe boxes so coats will go in there um, it's just like bits I need to empty all of my handbags you know when you just have crap in every handbag like a different lip balm in every one an arrangement of coins in another one whatever Puh, fluff or hair even um, so I need to go through all those which I'm going to do next and then just have one handbag that I'm using for the weekend pack the rest up um, and then just you take artwork off the walls I've taken the ones off from behind here but it's all going good today we pick up the keys today so maybe I'll, as soon as we get there i'll film an empty flat tour so then that will be up on wednesday of the new place and then we'll vlog everything moving in so um yeah it's all good it's all really exciting saw the joker last night it was brilliant i would imagine lots of you have seen it because i know it's one of those that everyone i've spoken to seems to have seen or is going to see um, it was brilliant. I really, really, really enjoyed it. It was so dark and so tense. I had a blinding headache at the end of it because I spent the whole time like, with my jaw clenched, like behind me behind a jumper. Um, but yeah, it was really good. And I'm feeling good. I think probably you guys can always tell when I'm talking to you. I'm feeling really good today. Um, I actually think I had my first ever panic attack the other night, um, which was awful because I've never experienced that before. But it kind of felt like an odd release as well if that makes sense i don't know i think it's so it's it always blows my mind how things in your head can manifest so physically within you um and that was sort of like the peak of it or the rock bottom of it for me i guess whichever way you want to think of it um and i felt dreadful afterwards but had have been feeling so much better now so um yeah that's all good um where have i put the books i went into waterstones the other day um the big one on piccadilly which is always a treat and got some books so let me find the one that i'm reading first look at this <gasps> shoe boxes i've like put all of the shoes in the relevant boxes but now i'm not sure whether to put the shoe boxes within another box i think i'm gonna have to um but yeah like all of the wardrobes are pretty much empty there's just like the odd pair of shoes i'm trying to find the dust bags for jackets like i said still to go some jewelry boxes up there and then there's just um this section needs doing because there's coats and things but these going in the in the wardrobe boxes the books underneath all of these i started reading this one let's just put you on top of these shoe boxes this is the one i've been reading as you can see it's pretty big um so 
that's why I've been using a big handbag. Fleishman is in trouble. I'm only like, oh gosh, about 70 pages in, but I'm really enjoying it and it's had quite some quite good reviews. Um, so yeah, it's just about a man who gets divorced and is kind of sucked into the new world of online dating and his wife goes missing. Um, and then it changes obviously everything. I haven't got to that point in the book yet, but that's what it says on the blurb. I haven't spoiled anything that isn't readily available on the blurb. Um, so I'm really enjoying that. And then let's just wade through the chaos to look at these. Right, these are the other ones I got. Oh, this is one I've had for a while um, and was going to read next until I did my book shopping. Another David Sedaris one. I picked up The Handmaid's Tale because I've never watched the TV show and I really want to watch it, but I thought, and maybe I'll read the book first, seeing as it, it seems like one of those lovely opportunities to read a book first of something. So I bought that. I bought this, um, which is called The Unbearable Lightness of Being. Um, and I think it's meant to be kind of one of those classics. It was on that section anyway, in Waterstones, the classics table. And I'm really excited to read it. And then this one, which I think the most excited to read, Three Women. I heard lots of really good things about this. Um, so I think I might read this one next after I've finished the one I'm currently on. This section still needs all wrapping up and I've run out of bubble wrap, but I'm just waiting for a delivery of a new bed, which is exciting. Like I said, in my new place, I'm gonna keep um, the both bedrooms as bedrooms. This is what the spare room is looking like here at the moment, full of stuff. So um, I've got a new bed coming for my main bed, which is from made.com. Um, so I'm just waiting for that to arrive. Also, just quickly show you this jumper properly. I like it a lot. It's got a really good just side length and stuff. So I know I so get lots of questions about tucking in jumpers and I understand why. You can feel so bunched up around your crotch. But this I've only just tucked in the tiniest bit because it's not too long at all as you can see. So it's a good tucker in a and then the cos jeans. Uh, like I said for testing basics. Oh and I looked in under the stories for their jeans as well but they didn't have any in there. They, again they didn't have my size in store. Um, so that's another one that I'm going to have to order online as well. Hello guys, it is later on in the evening now. What time is it? It is... Oh, my phone's not working. Hello? Any danger? Um, I need to pause the music as well. Anyway, it's about six. And we've got the keys, we went round and did the inventory and have got the keys and mum met the landlord and landlady who are extremely lovely aren't they? they are lovely. There she is. Hi. Hello. And now we're just doing the, the last bits of packing. Um, and yeah, we had lunch at Smoking Goat which was really, really nice in Shoreditch. That chicken was delicious. And yeah, I don't know where the day's gone since it's six o'clock already, but uh, oh, oh, so much going on in my head. Yeah. She said concentrate on the work. Yeah, put the music back on and continue with the packing, but that was just a little update for you all. Um, I can't I can't really make sentences if I'm honest. Good morning, it's from me and my little pineapple bobblehead. Um, I cannot put into words how stressed I am. The the van, the company that I mentioned that we used, that we used last time, White Van Gentlemen, have um, not been answering calls. I rung them four times yesterday. I rung the man's mobile number God knows how many times. Um, and they are literally not picking up. And so I have no idea whether they're gonna show up or not. I've just had to book another company really last minute for this evening. Uh, I was just gonna put my foot on there and then decided against it. Um, and yeah, I literally cannot believe how bad it is. I like, thankfully have a bit of an overlap between both properties. So if I don't end up getting everything moved today, it's not the end of the world. But most people when they move are like completing, finishing everything on that day. Imagine if that was happening to you and the removals company you were using just stopped answering the phone. So I literally, the last time I used them they were brilliant, but they, they couldn't have been more unprofessional. I rung four times yesterday, spoke to a woman who was lovely, and she'd said, oh, the two guys who organised it all were out and they had their diaries with them and she doesn't have access to their diaries. And she was like, I'm going to get them to call you back. I've told them, I've told them. Literally no call. So never, ever, 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 ever use this company. I cannot believe how bad it's been. So I'm super stressed. But we'll get there. Um, I just feel like, 
yes, just something would, to run smoothly would be really nice in life at the moment, but it never rains, it pours. Um, and anyway, um, we, so we didn't go out for dinner last night because just it was all systems going, stress, stress. Hello everybody. Vlogging on my phone because I forgot the vlog camera, um, which is some, I'm not even going to apologise for. I just don't. I think I could make as many excuses as I want today for the fact my brain's falling off my ears. Um, I'm at the new house, as you might be able to tell. So we rebooked. I can't. Remember, I can't even remember what the last conversation I had with you. I know it's about the trousers, but we rebooked the removals. Met some, a different company for the evening because I was like, I just need to get in here. My head. I just needed to be in here. Um, and still heard nothing from the original company. I'm at the house now, so I thought, okay, because like that first removals company were going to bring all the um, wardrobe boxes. We, I, I didn't buy any of those myself because they just, you know, you buy them off them. Um, so I was like, right, I'm going to go to the house in an Uber. We ordered two Uber XLs, filled it with suitcases so I could empty the suitcases and then go back with empty suitcases and put all coats and jackets in. Then we wouldn't need the wardrobe boxes. So I've got here, I've been doing that, mum rings, guess who's here? I was like, the first lot of removal men, oh my god. So we've now got two lots throughout the day. One, the ones we originally booked who just didn't contact, but were booked in, but just still didn't, didn't even get in touch about anything. And um, like I hadn't paid the deposit, nothing. Because they, they wouldn't speak to me. And then so another lot this evening. Um, so, and it costs to cancel the other lot this evening. So what we're going to try and do is, because the first guy, the guys who were there obviously at the house of months, not their fault at all. Um, and mum rang, she's like, I'm being really lovely to them. I was like, well, of course, it's not their fault. So they're going to do their bit really quickly in half the time. And then we're going to do the other lot in half the time so that then we pay for the hourly rates and it should end up being the same amount it would have been. Honestly, the stress of it all. I, I, don't, I actually don't even feel stressed. It feels so beyond my control and my remit that I'm just like, oh God. Well, I mean, anyway. Um, yeah, I don't know whether to, I don't, I, because I've left the camera on the table, because obviously my head's falling out my ears. I don't know whether to do an empty flat tour. I'm thinking maybe I won't. I'm thinking maybe you'll just see it as it fills up with all of my stuff. Um, I'll show you the main room now. Um, the only thing I don't love is the wallpaper. My landlord and landlady are absolutely lovely and they've said they will happily um, take it off and repaint it, but um, they've done lots of other things to the house really, really quickly, so they just didn't have time. And I've said, well, do you know what? Let me move my stuff in. And well, it's not it's not offensive. It's just not what my personal taste would be. I don't know what this style would be called. It's definitely called something or other. Um, and I don't hate that kind of thing. It just wouldn't be my first choice. But I'm just going to get my stuff in and see how it feels. Um, because if, it, if it's fine, then I don't want them to have to pay to do it. And it's just lovely enough of them to have offered to anyway. And that honestly, they're like the loveliest people. I can't believe how lucky I've been. Got a little log burner here, which I'm so excited about. Um, and like they even messaged me today saying, we're doing a big order of logs. Should we bring you some round? I was like, oh my God, you don't have to do that. Thank you so much. Um, I'll just show you the downstairs over here. And then the kitchen, which is so much better than the kitchen in my old place. And then a little garden at the back. I'm just going to speedily show you everything because um, this vlog's going to be so long. And also, I um, will just think I'll just show you properly and make it like a proper house tour when I when everything's in and you'll see it all, see how it's all filling up. But yeah, this is the main space. Um, the only thing I don't love is the wallpaper. My landlord and landlady are absolutely lovely and they've said they will happily um, take it off and repaint it. But um, they've done lots of other things to the house really, really quickly, so they just didn't have time. And I've said, well, do you know what? Let me move my stuff in. And we'll, it's not it's not offensive. It's just not what my personal taste would be. I don't know what this style would be called. It's definitely called something or other. Um, and I don't hate that kind of thing. It just wouldn't be my first choice. But I'm just going to get my stuff in and see how it feels. Um, because if, it, if it's fine, then I don't want them to have to pay to do it. And it's just lovely enough of them to have offered to anyway. And that, honestly, they're like the loveliest people. I can't believe how lucky I've been. Got a little log burner here, which I'm so excited about. Um, and like they even messaged me today saying, we're doing a big order of logs. Should we bring you some round? I was like, oh my God, you don't have to do that. Thank you so much. Um, I'll just show you the downstairs over here. And then the kitchen, which is so much better than the kitchen in my old place. 
and then a little garden at the back. I'm just going to speedily show you everything because um, this vlog's going to be so long. And also, I um, will think I'll just show you properly and make it like a proper house tour when I when everything's in and you'll see it all, see how it's all filling up. But yeah, this is the main space. Like it's so my old place was really light, um, but it had light at the front of the house and the side. Whereas this is front and back, as you can just see from even where I'm stood. So it's going to be so much better for filming and shooting and just everything. I'm so excited and like where it is it couldn't be a better location it's just perfect so um yeah i feel like we're getting there with everything i look like i've been dragged through a hedge backwards but it's all it's all gonna be okay um and yeah i'm just i haven't got much here because we just had what was two worths of an uber um two loads of an uber but it's mostly clothes which kind of does take the longest so i'm gonna keep cracking on with all of that um i've got some plates which i bought from made.com i'll show you them my head's all over the place. I watch people move and their vlogs are so well meticulously planned with like, I'm gonna show you this bit today and the next vlog it's gonna be this bit and then a reveal of this bit. And I'm an organized person, but I can't fathom how you do that because I just, it's just all happening at once to me. I don't know how to separate it into videos. Me again, just in a different place on the steps. And I feel like this has become the testing basics of removals options in London, um, which no one asked for. But I just, mum just rang and she was like, we're making really good progress with the first lot of men. I don't think we're going to need the second. I was like, okay, well, there's going to be a cancellation fee, I'm sure, with the ones we've booked for this evening. But let me ring and find out what it is. Um, I just rang them and they were like, no, no cancellation fee. We, when you explained the situation this morning, obviously we do what we could to accommodate, but we know it's not your fault now if they've shown up. I was like, what? Oh my God. So they were called Fantastic Services. And I know Lynn's used them when she moved and they were brilliant. But she had, they do the service where they pack up everything for you as well, which I didn't need. Um, but they were amazing. I obviously haven't ended up using them, but that's so good that they were just like, of course, cancelled. Um, I've sat on the steps because this is where I get the best signal at the moment. And I'm just um, contemplating what cupboard to put the plates in. And I literally cannot make decisions like this sometimes. I feel so overwhelmed by a small bit like this and I could always move it at a later date, but it feels like a pretty final and big decision. Hello guys, as you can see, I've deteriorated. It's now half eight. Things are, well, they're not almost done, but it's looking good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna save it and show you more in the next vlog, but I've just put a post up on Instagram and someone commented saying, is the necklace still behind the radiator? And I meant to have one last ditch attempt with mum to get it out and, and forgot. But I'm going back there this week, um, so I'll try and get it out. Just I think it's a lost cause. She thinks it's a lost cause. <laughs> Might well be. Safe. I'll give it one last go because everyone's wanting to know. But the brand, they're all blue, you know, and I've had earrings from them. Yes. They, they're sending me some earrings and a necklace. Oh. I don't, but it, I chose the earrings and they said, can we send you this a oh. type of necklace? And I don't think it's, I think because... They do like coffee bean chain and mine wasn't a coffee bean chain. It was a normal link. Oh, okay. And so I don't think it's identical, but it's very oh, similar. Oh, but still, okay. I'll try to get it out. Yeah. Um, I'm going to show you how everything's looking in the next vlog. Um, because now I just need to eat because we've not eaten today. Um, Have you eaten rubbish, Liz? I've, I've had like half packets of crisps. That's what I said. Two biscuits. <laughs> and Why a yogurt pot. Sandwich? Why is it when you're this busy you don't want to eat? Um, anyway, I'm going to do that and then I'll, I'll be vlogging through next week so that you can see everything properly, but for now, bye!